man, man, I am so blessed. I'm so blessed to have family members that love me. I love them, friends, to have this body, to be able to breathe the sun, this raft, this water, and by so many and endless amounts of things. I'm so blessed. Just want to share that with you guys. Joy shared is joy doubled, right? Burden shared is a burden cut in half. Um, I'm getting ready to head off to British Columbia on Monday. And for the International Tribe Design, which starts July 7th. Um, and I am so stoked. I'm so stoked to be going there. And just not only be such a beautiful part of the world, but to be with such awesome people. Um... And then I have Montana happening August 4th, and then Vermont um, in, the, in the beginning of September. And I just want to know, do you want, do you want to come? Is it a desire of yours to travel with awesome people in an awesome location? Well, if it is, I got to share a little something with you. I've traveled, a, I've been so blessed to be able to travel around the world to host retreats. And I think back on all the times, all the retreats that... I try to figure out all my logistical issues or challenges before booking the retreat house or before inviting people to come on that retreat, to, to confirming that retreat, or even going on trips. I think about all the times when you know, I didn't know who was going to pick me up from the airport. I didn't know how I was going to afford it. I didn't know what I was going to do or where I was going to stay. And I, when I try to figure out all those things before taking action, before booking my plane ticket, those are the trips, those are the retreats that didn't happen. They just, that's the trips that didn't happen. And one thing I've learned is about investments in my travel and anything I've done. I don't think I've invested in one thing that I regret. And I've made some pretty big investments. Um, and I can't remember one of them that I regret doing. So why do I say this is because if you're someone that wants to come to British Columbia for this retreat, July 7th, if you're someone that wants to come to my Montana retreat, August 4th or the Vermont, then you have to just do it. You just have to book a plane ticket. You have to book your spot in the retreat. And yes, there's, it's cost money. It's not free. Um, you know, I've lowered my price to my retreats quite significantly. Um, but look, if you want to make this happen, you just have to do it and cross all those bridges that are stopping you that you're, those excuses or the logistical challenges that you might face by traveling, cross those bridges when you get to it. And trust me, when we take these leaps of faith, I truly believe it gives God more room to, to produce miracles in our lives. And then when, when it's all said and done in a month from now or whatever, you're home, all you're going to be able to say is, wow, I'm so glad that I did that. And I'm, I'm amazed how all those little worries that I had worked out, how God worked them out for me. And you're left with an increase in faith. But in action, not doing anything, it, I think I truly think it fuels fear in our lives. When we have a desire and we don't do anything about it, we just decide not to take action. I truly believe that strengthens fear in our life. And the opposite, when you take action on the things that you want to do or the things that you think are beneficial to you, when you take action, you do it, regardless of the outcome, I think it increases courage and increases your faith. So I just felt sure to do that. I'm going to put the link above for the retreats that uh that i'm going to be part of that i'm going to be doing this year and also the one international tribe design if you're interested if you want to make this happen click on that link above and i would be so stoked to share this experience with you um these are beautiful locations with some beautiful awesome people all right guys and don't forget don't forget to count your blessings count your blessings today all right peace and love